We are here with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Thank you guys so much for joining me to discuss your agency today. Can you start by telling me a little bit about CBP and what a day in the life is like for one of your employees? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for having us. So I'm with the United States Border Patrol and a day in the life with us there's actually no day in the life for us. Every day is a little bit different, um, so there's no typical. One day you might be doing a little bit more paperwork, while the other day you could be doing field work. You could also be partnering with one of our other components that you'll hear about, so you can be on a boat, you could also be in a helicopter. So it varies day to day, but either way we're still aiming for the same mission of just protecting America. Hi, I'm with Field Operations and we work at the ports of entry throughout the United States and even internationally. Um, we work at the land borders, the seaports, and the airports. And a day in the life of a CBP officer, uh, same as Border Patrol, can vary uh, very differently by the day. Um, you could be boarding vessels, you could be determining the admissibility of passengers, targeting high risk shipments. Um, conducting investigations, doing intel, um, or administrative work. Hi, and I'm with Air Marine Operations, and we operate out of all the areas that, I guess, Border Patrol and Field Operations are also involved with in the air and in the water. So a day in the life is doing a lot of maritime patrol over the Atlantic Ocean to the Caribbean and then also the southwest border and in the Pacific from our you know San Diego sectors and northern Washington AORs as well. Um, we are looking for any vessels coming in that you know could be bringing contraband or persons and we can coordinate interdictions with the US Coast Guard, our own marine units and other state and local agencies as well. And as you guys just alluded to, there are various different components that make up CBP. Can you tell me a little bit more about each of those components and really what makes a good candidate for each one? Absolutely. So for the Border Patrol, because we are in between the different ports of entry, a good candidate is going to be somebody who's versatile, somebody who's able to adapt easily to an ever-revolving situation, um, whether you be indoors, outdoors, and able to adapt quickly and think on a more individual basis. We need avid people who are motivated on their own as well as with a, a group. So you need to be able to work with a partner while also working by yourself. So it does vary. A good candidate is also going to be somebody who can lead on their own, but also able to take instructions by others. Uh, we are paramilitary, so people who are recently uh, separated from the military or maybe had aspirations or just merely interested are wonderful candidates. So, so long as they are self-motivated, active, and eager to adapt in an uh, ever-revolving uh, career, those are an ideal uh, person for our component. And I'm going to say for field operations, uh, basically everything that she said, because our environments are uh, much the same, except with field operations, you are typically working in a more controlled environment, uh, being at a port of entry or in an airport, but you also have the potential to be out in the field a lot as well. And with Air Marine Operations, we have three different positions, um, one being our pilot position, which is air interdiction agent, our boat captains, which are marine interdiction agents, and then also aviation enforcement agents, which are our sensor operators and all of our ground communications. So for our pilots, we need you to come to us with all your pilot's license and ratings. Um, the marine interdiction position is typically ratings that come from the Coast Guard, starting off with a six-pack Coast Guard license, and our aviation enforcement agents, any type of camera operating experience, sensor operating experience, and again, all ground communications with other agencies. And for someone who has a background outside of law enforcement, such as in aviation or biology, are there opportunities at CBP? Yes, absolutely. CBP, we are as a whole component or organization, we're becoming more diverse and diversity comes from different backgrounds, whatever you can bring to the table. You do not need to be law enforcement who are familiar with having a firearm. We take people who have all backgrounds, um, biology, intelligence, uh, information technology. There's a place for everybody because it's needed to protect America. We have different administrative positions as well uh, and as a whole, we're all needed in order to protect America. Again, same for field operations. Um, 
and we do rely on the administrative support, um, communication skills, leadership skills, um, technology skills. We have a lot of technology in our agency, and um, that's it. Definitely the same for us as well, um, that we kind of obviously piggyback off each other with Border Patrol and field operations. Just um, with the air unit, we obviously need to see an aviation background. Same thing for our marine unit. We need to see the, the boater's license already there. Um, but admin, intel, it all goes hand in hand with the other components as well. Well, as our panel here today demonstrates, there are no shortage of job opportunities at CBP. Thank you guys so much for joining us today.